Amazon's new $2.5 billion headquarters. The blueprint for Amazon's HQ2, a modern new campus in Northern Virginia, has been revealed. The proposed headquarters will have three buildings with a total of 2.8 million square feet of office space and 2.5 acres of green space. The Helix, a glass frame with walking pathways running across the exterior, will be the focus point of the campus. Amazon, as one of the world's five most profitable corporations, needs a plush statement headquarters, or in this situation, two. Follow along as we look at the planning and design of the company's second American center. As Amazon announced plans for a new second headquarters in 2017, the organization got more than 230 offers, or petitions, to expand on their property, from cities and states around the U.S. Each saw the advantages for their region and hoped to be the future home of what will eventually be the tech firm's current crowning glory. The campus is part of Amazon's long-term dedication to Arlington, where the organization has promised to spend $2.5 billion and generate 25,000 jobs. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, which caused Amazon to close its headquarters and make workers operate remotely, the company is moving on with the initiative. Following the flood of plans, Amazon had hoped to mutually build its newest headquarters in New York, but after local demonstrations, including the storming of an Amazon store, the company eventually decided on only one less apparent spot. Arlington, Virginia will be the site of the company's proposal to build an HQ2 center driven entirely by green energy. The place, which Amazon is keen to portray as a public community space rather than a corporate campus, will feature an extraordinary Helix building and will cost about $5 billion. Following a months-long quest and rivalry among American cities to become the e-commerce giant's next home base, the decision to create a new headquarters in Arlington was made. Before agreeing on two new locations, Arlington and Queens, New York, Amazon vowed to build 50,000 jobs and spend $5 billion in the city it picked. The new location will be a big boost for Arlington, which is expected to prosper to the tune of 25,000 new jobs and a revamped city skyline for the place not far from Washington, D.C., with early work already underway and the next phase, including the Helix, set for completion in 2025. The site will be known as Penn Place in addition to HQ2, which will convert a previously drab neighborhood. The new site will complement Amazon's existing headquarters in Seattle with a total of 2.8 million square feet of office space planned, with the next phase adding three new 22-story towers. Some commenters jokingly referred to the Helix focal point as a glass feces emoji, but it's really a 350-foot-tall revolving inverted cone with lots of greenery and some spectacular-looking outdoor walkways. The goal of the design, which uses the idea of biophilia, a human instinct to bond with nature, in a similar way to the company's collection of biodomes at their original headquarters in Seattle, is to emphasize both physical fitness and mental well-being. Lead architect Dale Alberta of the firm NBBJ, previous designers of corporate buildings for the likes of Samsung, Google, and Microsoft, says of the broader space, We're building a series of indoor atriums and gardens that are not a conservatory or a place you just visit, but a place you can actually go and work. NBBJ is so committed to the mission that they've opened a new office in Washington, D.C. only to be close by. Greenery will be plentiful on the inside and outside of the Helix system, where it will enclose a set of alternative workspaces for workers to partake in meetings and social calls, and will be tended to by a team of horticulturists. The Helix, on the other hand, will not house offices. They'll be housed in more traditional buildings nearby. Instead, it'll be something like an escapist center where jobs can be mixed with a bond to nature and hopefully a sense of wellness, according to the company's press releases. Within, there will be a conference center with a capacity of more than 1,500 people, as well as an artist-in-residence program to help with the community's artistic side. The fact that Amazon has shared very little of the more mundane workplaces is notable, perhaps because they aren't quite as glamorous as the Helix and the surrounding parklands. Amazon also owns and leases a variety of huge office buildings in the city, and it will continue to do so. In the otherwise drab and traditional Crystal City area of Arlington, the new structures would serve as a kind of center for the company's presence. The Helix will be open to the public on a couple of weekends every month. 
The sustainability ethos refers to the carbon footprint of the house as well. The entire facility is supposed to operate on solar energy, but there's no solar farm nearby to facilitate this. Instead, it will be built 200 miles away in Pittsylvania County, South Virginia, and the electricity will be delivered to Arlington. A natural ventilation system and a rainwater recycling system are two other renewable energy features of the plant. All of the modern structures are often built to make the most of natural light, reducing the need for artificial lighting. The entire complex will be LEED Platinum certified, the highest level of sustainability certification offered by the U.S. Green Building Council. Many of the complex's amenities are, in particular, future-oriented, with Amazon stressing that their current building is meant to be a long-term investment and emphasizing the importance of retaining neighborhood interest in Arlington as the project progresses, following their New York protest experience. They'll also use a separate $2 billion initiative to help build 1,300 affordable homes in the city, something cynics would claim the remainder of the scheme, which is sure to push up the cost of local housing, goes against. Whatever the local influence, the new platform will undoubtedly be a huge boost for Amazon, and it will also have lots of opportunities for residents who can afford to remain in the city. The campus's green areas, which will total 2.5 acres of beautifully landscaped lawns and gardens, are planned to be open to the public. Among the sculptured parkland, you'll find walking tracks, bike parking, and electric vehicle charging stations, as well as a variety of non-Amazon companies. Outside of the Amazon headquarters, there will be a 250-seat outdoor concert hall that can also be used to screen movies, dog walking parks, daycare centers, and food truck parking spots. The terrain will be diverse enough to have their own hiking trails, one of which will, one of which will loot the outside of the helix structure. Farmers markets as well as other shopping spaces on the ground floor will be part of the setup. In reality, the ground floor of the whole system is designed to make Penn Place feel more like an ultra-modern city block than a massive multinational's headquarters, with the architects hoping that it won't be obvious as you walk around that you're at HQ2. The initiative ultimately opposes corporate branding in favor of constructive cultural ties, at least on the surface. Designers expect that the site will also become a tourist destination, with downtown Washington, just over the Pontiac River, just 15 minutes away by train, making the location attractive to potential employers as well as tourists. It's maybe no wonder that the inspiration for Amazon's plans and the new Arlington skyline comes from the natural but still high-tech looking swirling helix pattern. Alberta describes the mix of native plants and manicured gardens that will make up the Helix's swirling outdoor space as drawing its formal inspiration directly from the natural world, where the double helix geometry can be found in many forms, including plants, seashells, DNA strands, and even our galaxy. This is also a declaration of mission in a society where people are constantly working online. Unlike any of its competitors, Amazon has recently stressed the importance of keeping its workers in the same physical location for concept sharing and production work. Pen Position is designed to be just that. Of course, there are other advantages, not least the tax cuts and discounts provided by the city of Arlington to the multinational in order to beat out the other 200 or so cities competing to host the corporation. Tax cuts are expected to reach $573 million, or around a tenth of the building cost, but they're contingent on Amazon providing 25,000 jobs in Arlington with an annual wage of more than $150,000 within the next few years. When all is said and done, we believe the city will come out on top. New York's proposed tax breaks were much more substantial, totaling over $1.5 billion. What about the current site, though? Is it going to boost Amazon's image? Is this a place you'd like to work? Or is it just really a bunch of futuristic nonsense? Let us know in the comments below.